show from the Wacker in Perth and highlights of the first day's play in the third Ashes Test match. Let's confirm that England side. No John Crawley, split out with uh, a hip injury. And who would have put money on an England seam attack of Harmison, Silverwood and Tudor? Hmm. The Australians, well, Brett Lee is back. No place for Andy Bickle, who's done pretty well in the first two test matches. Just shows you how ruthless the Australians plan to be. A reminder that play got underway at 10.30 in the morning. We're going to pick it up now. England are four for no wicket. Jason Gillespie is bowling to Marcus Truscothic and commentating Irene Healy and Bill Lurie. It's gone. Oh, they're asleep. They were asleep. That was a keep, keeper's catch again. Warren didn't move. Gilchrist didn't move. And surely that was a keeper's catch. Gillespie's up with the batsman at the moment. He's devastated. Early wickets in Perth can lead to a huge collapse. Gilchrist can't get his left foot moving. It's nicely played. A little on drive to the half volley swing in from off to leg. The outfield lightning fast. And I'll pick up three. This time he gets away. It's beautifully played. Stood tall. And he's straight to ground. Gone again this time. It's the hands, the fingers possibly just goes over the top for four more. We hit that really hard, it was short. It's none for 20. Yeah. That's a great shot, that's four more. That's a perfect cover drive, so good over for England. Yeah, yeah. That's nicely played. That'll go for four. The boundaries have been brought in here, square of the wicket. Good shot. Nice placement on that occasion from Triscothic. He's got that away. Hammered into the turf. It's a big shout. Brett Lee's followed through and Triscothic has walked off. Gone for 34. And the first wicket down for 47. In the air and wide of gully. It'll go for 4-2. This is a very fast outfield. Oh, that's well played. That's beautifully played. Waited for him on the crease, and he's played it down the ground, and it's gone for four. Oh, this is could be out. Down the far end. Oh, yes, what a throw. What a throw. Brilliant fielding. These Australians... When they get a little sniff, they make it count. Steve War has thrown down the stumps at the bowler's end. It's two for 69. That's through uh, the slip cordon area, and that's gone for four. Oh, he'd shift that down a bit on a no ball. Down the hill. Lightning fast outfield. Gone for hooks, it's gone, Nick. Big noise. But uh, he didn't fall umpire Bucknor. Had a good long look at him. That's what the batsman must do. And he's on his way. It's 3 for 83. Glenn McGrath is bowling to Michael Vaughan and commentating a Tony Gregg and Ian Healy. Oh, and that's out. Yes, caught behind. That one definitely out. Vaughan gone. Four for 101. Well, that's well played. That's four. Yes, well, he, uh, he won't be hanging around too much, Alex Stewart. He likes to play his shots. Caught. I think it's carried. The umpires are checking, and he's been given out. A brilliant catch by Adam Gilchrist. And it's 5 for 111. Oh, oh. it's gone for it, and hit it beautifully. Straight down the ground. Good use of the feet. Gone, straight down the throat of third slip. Driving, good length, good pace. It's for 121 England, and Craig White gone for two. That's a good shot. There it is. Down the ground and into the crowd. Super shot. That's more like it. Yeah. And straight to first slip. Well, then he took Shane Warne, one delivery. That's all he had left in the over. And so another wicket to Shane Warne. Well, that's a nice shot. Pushed him down the ground beautifully there, Richard Dawson. I think it's going to go to the fence. That is beautifully timed off the back foot. 
Oh, it's a good shot. Nicely placed. And it will go to the rope. Oh! That's well played also. Forced Shane Warner to drop short. And didn't try to hit it too hard. Just worked into the big gap. Way on the square leg boundary. Oh, that's well played. That'll be four. Full toss from Brett Lee. And put away as it should have been. But oh, he's knocked him over. Damian Martin's done it. In the over before T. He's picked up his second test match wicket. And the big one of Robert Key. This is unbelievable. You bring on a gentle little medium pacer. He's weathered the storm, as I said. And he's now been rolled over by Damien Martin. And boy, he's got them out of their seats here at the whack up. Well, don't let's lose sight of the contribution made by this young man. Big inside edge onto the stumps. What a dreadful sight that is just before T. And Damien Martin uh, raises his arm in Glenn McGrath fashion. And this time he's cleared point in the gully area. And that one will go to the fence. That's well taken. Matthew Hayden at backward point. Had to move away to his left and took a very good catch. And England, 9 for 173. That's the end. 185. Harmison is gone. Dawson is not out. Truth is that England got blown away in the middle. That is with the exception of Robert Key, who looked a very decent player out there. There's plenty of tough nuts suggesting that he's going to be one of the cricketers England need for their future. A good start given by Vaughan and Truscothic, but not, I'm afraid, continued upon. Now, the Australian batting. Well, Justin Langer got them off to yet another flyer. We're going to pick it up with Australia 25 for no wicket. Alex Tudor is bowling to Matthew Hayden, the sixth over of the innings and commentating in the Channel 9 box are Bill Lurie and Tony Gray. Oh, wow, guys. He's probably the best hooker in world cricket. Matthew Hayden is dropping short with nobody out. Yep. As Tommy works him nicely on the ground. That build a lightning fast. They're through for two. Here comes Langer. It's close. It's a stunt. He could be out. In fact, I think he might be out. He's calling for the third umpire. Very, very close. I thought it had to hit the stumps, but they, they think it's out, England. Here it comes. Oh, gone, gone, gone. And that's a massive breakthrough. And that's it. Out. That is a tremendous bonus for England. Shot. Stand and deliver. Ricky Potting. Yes. That's a nice shot again from Hayden. And hitting with the breeze. That'll be four more. You can give that up. That will be five, actually, with the no ball. That's a great shot. into position very quickly that's gone right through that's beaten the keeper and that will be four buys that is a setter can't be put down so <laughs> against what uh, one might term all the odds Hayden has holed out to the man at Deep Pine Leg. It's two for 85. And away it goes, over the top. You need to be 38 feet tall to touch that. Oh, well, in fact, I thought he'd caught it there for a moment. That's through. And it'd probably be four as well. That's with the breeze, and that's four. That'll be four more. Squirted just wide of the man in the gully. 126 for two when the Australians finished the day. That is just 59 behind England. Doesn't Ricky Ponting look in outstanding touch? Matthew Hayden perhaps playing a shot too many. Could he be the victim of overconfidence? Well, it's something for England to cling on to. An awful lot of work for England to do tomorrow. The bowling lacks the consistency of the Australians. At times they've been a bit too short. And there were questions asked around the place about why Steve Harmison didn't take the new ball, perhaps in front of either Chris Silverwood or indeed 
Alex Tudor. We'll pick it up with Damien Martin and Ricky Ponting at the crease and commentating are Ian Healy and Ian Chappell. Well, that's beautifully hit and way in front of square leg. That really was hit well. And that's his 50, Ricky Ponting. Oh, it's a wonderful shot. Don't run for those. Glorious off drive. Ponting in superb form this summer. Got him! Oh, that's a big wicket. Ball coming back in with the breeze. He's knocked him over. Ponting's gone. And White breaks through. That's what England badly needed. Good piece of bowling. He was always going to swing in from off the leg. It's one way. Ponting's been knocked over. Yeah, should have been pushing forward, I think. Uh, it certainly did swung in. That's what uh, beat him. This is it again. Came in quite sharp. You can see stranded on the crease there. No foot movement really at all. He almost looked as if he was getting ready to uh, cut the ball away on the offside. That is a big wicket. No doubt about that. Bowled by White for 68. Three for 159. Tip the gloves. That will be four runs. Well, that's four. Craig White has gone around the wicket, started with a full toss. That's four more. It's too short. Too short and too wide. That's rubbish. That's short and got hammered. Same ball, same shot. And four more. Craig White short, wide outside the off stump. He plays that very well. Good innings from Damien Martin. Brought up his half century with just um, a little easing away. Oh, no. <laughs> he's picked up a wicket. He, no wonder he's delighted because it could easily have gone for six, but he's got a wicket there and Lehman has gone. He will be simply furious at that. Well, as soon as he hit the shot, Darren Lehman shouted, oh, no. He knew straight away the ball had gone in the air and it was going straight towards Stephen Harmison. Very neatly done. Oh, it goes through the vacant. You can't have everywhere, can you? It goes through third slip. Cracked away. It's his favourite shot. Played it superbly. And he'll swing there immediately and a rough bounce. Gets uh, Damien Martin another boundary. Tempted Yorker. Steve Ward just down on it in time. And that's four. Despite the efforts. That's a fine shot. Loves it in that area, square of the wicket on the offside. Nicked and gone. Well, his strength has finally brought him undone. Damien Martin trying to play that square drive again, and he's nicked it. Well, it's a stroke that brings him many boundaries, but on this occasion, it's brought his downfall. No great feet movement again. And slashing outside the off stump. An obvious edge through to Alex. Stewart, the Tudors and the Stewarts combined for England. Damien Martin gone for 71, and Australia 5 for 264. Oh, that's four. Well, that's what happens. Oh, it runs again. That's into the gap, and that's gone for four. Well, there she goes again. That's four. He's blitzed that one through the offside as well. Oh, he's hit that one fine. It's going to beat the man on the boundary. That's gone for four. That gives you some idea of how hard he hits that shot. 
Another four. Brilliant strike. Oh, he's mishit that one for four. Oh, there he goes. You better believe he's gone. He's gone out of the ground. Great shot down the ground. All these Western Australians out of their seats. That's in the air. This could be out. Oh, six. Oh, he's got him. Has he touched the rope? I think he's got him. That's a fine catch. So Gilchrist out for 38 after a very exciting inning. Six for 316. That's four. It's a half folly. Nicely put away by Stephen Ward, who is now finding the middle of the back. Four. Bit of width. Stephen Moore's thrown the bat at it and found the gap. That's a nice shot. Rocks back. Cuts him for four. And that's 50 for Steve Ward. Got him. He knocked him over. That's beautiful length. Drew him forward. That's a big wicket for England. The second year ball does its job. Steve Waugh, Queen Ball for 53. Well, he got Steve Waugh on debut. And he made his debut here in 98, Alex Tudor. Once again, he's picked up the Australian captain. And he's done it with a beautiful piece of bowling. Good length. Steve Waugh playing inside that one as it crashes into off stump. Seven for 348. In here and dropped. Hard one. Safe over the top of point. Oh, that's cracked away. It's a man down third man. It's wide of him. He's it goes all the way. That's a good stroke. It's nice to play. Crack. Great shot. It's just hit through the line there, Shane Maud. Won't go to the boundary. Looking for three. It's be close. That'll be out. He's out by a long way. Well, the fieldsman was Steve Harmless on this occasion. He tracked it down well, got rid of it quickly, and Shane Maud was always in trouble, and in the end was out by oh, well over a metre. And it's say good night time. The stand between Shane Warne and Brett Lee was worth 68. Another 40 were added by the likes of Jason Gillespie and Glenn McGrath. It took England some time to polish off the tail. Let's have a look at the Australian batting then. 456 all out, a lead of 271 over England. They've contributed all the way down the list. It's hard to believe that the opening partnership between Langer and Hayden was just about the smallest partnership in the innings. It's Marcus Triscothi and Michael Vaughan at the wicket as we pick up play. Oh, that's a good one. He's asked a question. Big shout from the bar. Not a lot of support from the slips. Shouts of catch it. And uh, Triscothic is sort of wandering around. And uh, umpire Bucknell is just nodding. Took him an awful long time. And that's the big wicket. Well, he's unset him with a good short ball. Earlier in the over, and that one's hit flush on the top hand. And the right glove, and Gilchrist had a bit of work to do. He did it particularly well. And Australia have got the breakthrough. Thanks to a Brett Lee Thunderbolt. Triscothic has gone. Caught behind. Well, Adam Gilchrist, there's the nod from Steve Buckner. The, the nod you don't want. From the batsman's point of view, England lose their first wicket. The score on 13. And that one stayed down, beats everyone. Four buys. Michael Vaughan again showing great strength of character, but Richard Dawson too. He's got a bit of bad in this fellow from Yorkshire. 238, the deficit for England, with nine of their second innings wickets in hand. Oh, that one's staying. That's a real worry. On the third morning, a grubber. It's gone. Encourages the drive. Well caught in the gully. Westby strikes. That's two for 33. Good bowling. Very difficult for night watchman when you get two grubbers and you go for a cover drive and get the outside edge. I think it's the two previous deliveries here. Did for Richard Dawson, and this was a bit fuller and wider. 
Yeah, for the drive. That's a good catch in the goal. It went sharply to Stephen Waugh's right. And Jason Gillespie has struck early this morning for Australia. Richard Dawson has gone for eight. And England two for 33. Nice shot. That's knocked down as well by Lee. Oh, they're gone. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I think that's terrible cricket. You've got your backs to the wall. First innings was Butcher. This time it's born a comedy of errors, and that's England's fate. Well, this is unbelievable cricket. Michael Vaughan pushes the ball into the offside. There's a complete breakdown of communication between these two again, as happened in the first innings, and this time it's Michael Vaughan who's gone. Ridiculous cricket from England. Michael Vaughan run out for nine, and England three for 34. Oh, that's close. That's very, very close. Yes, he's gone. Butcher's gone. It's all over. It's four for 34. Superb bowling. Wonderful delivery from McGrath, almost a carbon copy of his dismissal of Butcher in the second innings at Adelaide. A full in-swinger, catching Butcher on the crease, absolutely plump LBW. McGrath didn't even look round at Rudy Kurtzen. You see the ball pitching in the zone and swinging back, Butcher on the crease, absolutely dead LBW. Butcher has gone LBW without scoring. England have lost their fourth wicket this morning for 34. That's well played. Hitting with the spin over mid off. That's a good shot. This time he gets it down. It should almost go for four. There's a deep sweeper coming around hard, but he won't get there, Gillespie. Four ball, put away for four as it should be. Oh, it's in the air. Oh, just wide a goal, but he gets four. Catch was a cry from behind, but the over bowl, an interesting one, four for 78. That's better. Straight down the ground, and Brett Lee's after it. He won't get this one. Oh, and that was uh, an attempt at a Yorker. He's got away with it. He steered it away down to the boundary. It's gone for four. Well, that's worth an appeal. Yeah, he's nodding. So the finger goes up eventually. Full delivery from Glenn McGraw, which probably just angled back in. Robert Key was caught pretty much on the crease. That's a fairly comfortable decision for Steve Buckner. Hawkeye will show that the delivery was hitting halfway up middle stump. And Glenn McGraw picked up his 200th test wicket in Australia. Robert Key has gone for 23. England five for 102. Catch. That's four. Oh, he tossed it up. Yes. That's the one's there. Just be trying to fire the Yorker in. And that's going to go for four. He's got it away. That's the best shot he's played. Threw it up and he cops it, so he should. Threw it up in the air and now he's still hit it straight down the ground. He's got another one, he's safe again, that's well played. He's throw it up like that to good batsman on this pitch with that wind coming down the ground. Damian Martin bowls his first ball and England skipper gets a well earned 50 under pressure. Dropped first ball but been very professional since where he shows his class and that's where that timing comes into play as Ian Hilly was saying if he times it it goes that's against the wind it went like a rocket oh it's four not a catch warns a bit wide there he's probably in a second position over the top that's the way to play here at Perth ah! that one's out maybe this time yes says Rudy Kurtzman Nasser is saying doesn't like it. He's actually walking the wrong way as well. There was certainly a noise there. But whether it was the edge or the bat on the pitch, I'm not sure. They certainly didn't like it, Nasser, saying a bad reaction to this decision from Rudy Kurtzen. 
What do you reckon, Tubbs? Adam Gilchrist was certain. Damian Martin was certain, but it's unusual to see Nasser Hussain react like that unless he genuinely feels he didn't make that ball. Nevertheless, he was given a let off the ball before. Damian Martin will feel much better about that now. And Hussain has gone for 61. England six for 169. The Quins are over the top and it's bouncing down towards the boundary for four as well. A little bit of initiative being taken here. Stewart uh, raises his bat, uh, acknowledging the applause here for this half century. Oh, and uh, in the air and wide of the short extra cover. And that's gone for four as well. So White beginning to smash it around too. Yeah. That's out. That's out. Stumped. He's tossed that one up. Craig White has played a dreadful shot. Dear. It's seven for two away. Oh, that's going a nasty one. That's nasty. Through the helmet. And he's in a bad way, unfortunately. Big crowd here, very quiet. There's only two to goes off. That's unfortunate. He'll retire hurt three. So for Stephen Harmison, it's going to be an awkward moment as well. Got him. Knocked him over with a full pitch. So for Stephen Waugh on the Australian side, they wrap up the Ashes. In the third test match at the Wacker. Mm -hmm. 32nd uh, victory as a test captain for Steve Waugh. So he now equals the... Uh, winning record of Alan Border. That is not a card that needs too much explanation. In the middle of the innings, England fought hard. All credit to Robert Key and to the more experienced hands, Nasser Hussein, and Alex Stewart, who was left unbeaten at the end. But the truth is, Australia completely outplayed England on what was a very, very lively Perth pitch. Let's have a look at those bowling figures. They've all done their bit. Some pain suffered by Alex Tudor when Brett Lee, who bowled at searing pace, hit him in the head. Wickets for him, for McGrath, who was outstanding all morning. Gillespie, as he always is, worn quite expensive on this occasion, but the Perth pitch not really suited to the great leg spinner. The margin of victory then, an innings and 48 runs. The third monumental defeat for England in a row.